Hello everybody, Burnt Dope Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so in the last episode we uh, did some missions for Lomo. He's kind of a, um, I guess like a, a mob boss, I guess you can kind of say. So yeah, like, and then we found out that uh, his uh, little apprentice over here, she got bumped by another guy, and you know, a little bit of a backstory behind that there, you know, like a little drama, a little drama. So, uh, we're off, you know, as usual, to go pick up a package. Uh, where are we going to? Over this way, right? Yeah, over this way. So, we'll go pick up this package, and... Uh, all right, before we uh, go to our destination, I went uh, adventuring a little bit, and uh, I got... Oops. This part of the map over here, kind of somewhat cleaned out here. I didn't notice this here yet. Um, I guess I'll have to go and check that out. Uh, I think that's the corpse that building. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I might be able to get in there. I'll have to go check, but I'll go and I'll clean up the rest of this area too and find the rest of the stuff. Uh, but we'll talk to this guy here. Uh, do do do, Tico. Hey, Tico, right? Tico. Did you have any luck finding Nari? No, I don't know what to do. When did you last see her? I don't know how to answer that question. Months? Years? <sighs> you don't know? So where did you last see her? Back in Tokyo, during the Sakura. We had a picnic in the park. Tokyo? Sorry, I don't know the city very well. Is that below Midtown? It is a different city. You mean like a different district? When I last saw her, it was not in Novalis. Oh. Sorry, Tico. I think you might be getting confused. There is only Novalis. Everything west is just townships and settlements. There are no more cities. This is it. We grew up together. I've known her since I was 13. Tico, that must have been a very long time ago. No kidding. I don't really understand when people talk like that. You don't understand what? Time? When people say the feelings are from long ago, they don't change. The people you cared about when you were young, have those feelings gone away? I guess not, but some of them aren't around to love anymore. I don't understand. We sat under the cherry blossoms. She ate fresh strawberries, and we watched the sun rise together every day through the summer. Then one day the sun rose, and it was too bright. Far too bright. Her family said they would have to move away. I think your memories go back very far, Tico. Almost sounds like a, a nuclear bomb. Even after the big sunrise when she moved away, all I wanted was to see her again. When she left, it was like I didn't exist anymore. When she moved to Tokyo, we would see each other less and less often. Then, one day, it is not fair. I moved here from far away too. I know how you feel. Are you alone here too? Not quite. I have one friend, maybe two. I have to keep looking for Nari. She might be looking for me, too. Where will you go next? I have heard people live in the thermal vents where they use the steam to stay alive. <laughs> I will look for Nari there. She always liked the bathhouses. That sounds like a good plan. Do you think the vents will be like the bathhouses back in our village? I don't think so, Tico. But you never know. Oh, boy. Um... That android has like serious issues, man. Serious issues. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh, I, I think she's right. I think uh, he he's thinking of something that happened like thousands of years ago, maybe. You know, like. All right, so this is where we gotta go. We'll just go and uh, park our vehicle here. Talk to this guy right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to collect a driver converter. Drive converter. Sure. Awesome. You don't know what it is, do you? <laughs> no clue. <Nope. laughs> it regulates the hydraulic output of the water tanks. It wears out fast, but without it, you got no grav lift. The sump builds up residue from the runoff because we got no clean water down here no more. Only the fancy overcloud hovas can run without a drive converter because they use pure H2O. You're not listening, are you? I think they need this pretty quickly. You're right, they do. 
You better get going. What do they do with it when they get it? <laughs> they don't mess around with it. That's the main thing they do, or don't do. Once they stick the drive converter in the universal maintenance slot under the passenger seat, the servitors will fit it in on the fly. Unless they've got an old manual, in which case, you know what? Never mind. I know you're not interested. <laughs> I'll let you go. See you around, kid. <laughs> oh, that could have drug on for a very long time. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Alright, so we have to go this way. Oh, uh, right. We'll see about we'll making it there alive. <laughs> Never slow Joe. Are you part of the race? I've got a drive converter for him. They went already. I'm the start line. Can I head them off? I'm really just here to wave them off, miss. Damn it. Control, are you on the comm? What do I do? The race has already started. I'm here. Joe won't get far without that part. I'm giving you a nav point. Seems like he might have broken down already. Nice. Seriously? You have to complete this job. Remember what we told you when you signed up? No failures. Or without that part, he's not even going to be able to land safely. Get to him as fast as you can. I'm not much of a racer. I'll try. You can do this, kid. Remember, straight roads are for fast cars, but the city is for fast drivers. I'm coming, Never Slow Joe. I got you. I got your back. Here we go. Are you Never Slow Joe? No, I am currently very slow, Joe. You <laughs> my converter? Yeah. Thanks, Cloud Punk. I'm going to give you this old one. It's busted, but if you get it back to Emmett, he can fix it up and sell it on for a good handful of limbs. These converters are worth a lot of money? Well, they sure are. I owe Emmett, so you make sure it gets back to him safe here. Without the trade-in value in that busted converter, I wouldn't be able to afford this repair. My racing days would be over. Early retirement. I'd go mad. I'll get nice. back to Emmett. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Yeah, I can't believe you drive around the city in that piece of junk. You're braver than me, kid. What do they call you? Rania. Uh, that's no good. My name's no good? What do you suggest? <laughs> On the run, Rania. What do you think? <laughs> On like the it. run, Rania. <laughs> On the run, Rania. I gotta go. I've got a race to win. I'll see you around. Nice. On the run, Rania. You know, unless you take that in the wrong context, that you know that she's got the runs. <laughs> you know, it's maybe not the best nickname to have. I don't know. Just saying. All right, so let's get this part back to Emmett. I am back. Uh oh. Did you hear all of that? On the run, Rania? I don't like it. He's a racer, not a poet, Katniss. Are you going to take the old part back to the mechanic man? I'm not sure. If I sold it, I'd make a lot of limbs quick. Won't you get in trouble? I don't think so. The races are illegal and dangerous. Joe is an old man. Maybe it would be safer if he retired. If I give this part back to Emmett to settle his old debts, he'll keep racing. So, are you going to sell the part at some other mechanic man? Or take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man? I'm going to take it to the Mr. Emmett mechanic man. Because, you know, let Joe keep racing. Why not, man? What's wrong with racing? Awesome. Alright, so we're back here at Emmett so he can continue racing. Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He <laughs> said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll <laughs> fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. Yeah, and it's best that you leave those kind of decisions up to those kind of people. So let's uh, repair her, Hubba. Cora, it's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. 
another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first. A speed boost, huh? Do we really need a speed boost? Oh, looks like we found Tico again, so uh, let's talk to him again. Tico, you made it all the way to the ground. Yes, all for nothing. Nari is not here. I'm sorry. You know, maybe it's time to let her go. It is difficult, but this place... Nari would have liked it. When my visual sensors run in low resolution mode, it looks a little like the seaside town where we grew up. <laughs> you grew up? Tico, was Nari like you? I don't know what you mean. An android. I'm sorry. There are some things I can't talk about. Nari was a woman like you. Oh. Y you don't understand what you are. She thought we were the same, so I did too. My father called me Prototype. I didn't look any different to the people around me. But you felt different. Yes. Unless I was with Nari. Nice. When we were together, it felt like we were different from everyone else. But the same as each other. Tico, you know, if she was human, she's probably... Did you say you were together in a place called Tokyo? I don't know the name, but I think it's a very ancient place. You and Nari were together a long, long time ago. I am sure I will find her. Yes, I am sure. Do you think I am getting closer? Will I find her soon? No. Yes, I think you'll both be together <laughs> soon. That's wonderful news. I can't wait to see her again. Wow, you just filled them up full of hope. Okay, check out Andy. Excuse me. I am not usually permitted to speak, but I need help. Okay. I'm really busy. It will only take a moment. Sure. Really busy. <laughs> I have no one else to ask. No one else but the million people walking past as we speak? I need to stop talking to randos on the street. <laughs> randos? You do me more kindness by acknowledging me than anyone else has shown. Damn it. What do you want? <laughs> a ride. A ride? I knew it. No way. <laughs> I will pay you. I'm not uh, a taxi. I know. Cloudpunk, right? I recognize your car. You're a delivery driver. So deliver me. I deliver packages, not people. You're not a package. Actually, I am. Uh-huh. Listen, this has been lovely, but I have to... I am not lying. Look at my ID card. Here it is. Okay, it lists your owner. Weird. That doesn't make you a package, though. It makes me property. Ask your automata. Camus, can you check this ID? One, fourteen, four, twenty-five, four, fifteen, twelve, twelve. Property belonging to an android called Sari Nam. Citizenship voluntarily revoked last month. If found, return to owner. Nice. I told you. Will you take me back to Sari? I'll pay you. You can't even get in trouble. It's not far. I guess. Get in then. Nice. All right. Get sucked into bringing somebody somewhere. All right. Let's do it. So, um, your property? Yes. And you want to go back to your owner? Don't slaves want to escape? I'm not a slave. Being the property of a rich android is my career. Just like driving deliveries is yours. Okay, I get it. Right. I do not get it. Yeah, actually, I don't get it either. Do you need help to run away? No. I love my work. How is being owned by someone else work? Supply and demand. It's economics. What do you supply? Sex. <laughs> oh no, how is that? Why? No, don't tell me. I'm curious. <laughs> Tell me. Then I'm curious too. I am only qualified to provide my services to smooth skins, but I offer a range of services. Smooth skins? It means androids with humanoid dermis. Rubber, synthetic flesh, or plastic. You know, the androids that look a lot like humans. Not the boxy ones. Right. And you... Many androids look back on the long period when they were used as sex dolls by humans as a shameful period. It was shameful. Yes. But um. some of the androids now have an interest in reversing the roles. 
They want to have sex with humans who behave and respond. Or rather, don't respond. Like sex dolls. <laughs> oh no, like for revenge? <laughs> Not exactly. More like a, how would you say it? A kink. Uh, ooh. Oh boy. I find this very interesting. Chemist. <laughs> Is it not interesting? It's weird. Yeah, very weird. Sex is weird. Yes, I agree. Weird and interesting. It just seems so seedy. Sex work is work. I make people happy. I'm good at what I do. I'm sure. But does this android need to own you? Do you need to give up your personhood for them? That's what makes it real for my clients. If I didn't really give up my autonomy, it would just be a game. Maybe it would be okay if it was just a game. People are into role play, right? Yeah, Aren't you yeah. putting yourself in danger by letting someone own you? I am, but I trust my clients. I have a question about the sex. I can't believe we're talking about this. Oh, How do we do sex? Well, they want a sex doll or something like a sex doll. So a lot of the time I just lie there. Didn't Android sex dolls have more functions? Later models did, but the early ones just lay there. Sometimes they made noises. Fascinating. It disappeared. I'm not sure I can go through with this. Please, just leave me at the Vinculum Ascender. My owner will collect me from the spire. I don't know. Camus, I think maybe we should take Andy somewhere else. What do you think? I am not sure. Where could we take him? Midtown? At least he'd be safe there. I know. Safe? With no money, no job, and no owner? Maybe it is better to leave him in Midtown. I don't think people should be able to stop being people and become things instead. Me neither. But it is what I want. Quiet, I need to think. I'm gonna go give him to his owner. Who am I to judge what people want to do with their own bloody time? There we go. Thank you for respecting my choice. You're welcome. Maybe should we consider? Here is your money. Goodbye. I can't believe he is an object. He seems so much like a person. I'm not so sure. Can I ask another question about the sex? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Let's go get our coffee. All right, let's have to talk to this person, Dynamite Simpson. Hey, come here a minute. Oh, nice hair. Here. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. Okay. Right? I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? <laughs> Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. <laughs> I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're Maybe. not savages. We're farmers. And we have our own music. Your own music? Your own fashion? How novel. I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult for my people. It's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. Nice. From? Evil. Predatory men. <laughs> really? This will be perfect in Dolly's next video. Mm. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. 
Excellent. I think this will look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go. But we might speak again. Goodbye. That's awesome. I made some money to get rid of some flowers and stuff. Sweet. Oh no. Your mother's uh -oh. flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus. Oh, she's a good scammer. <laughs> That's funny. A remote detonator. Oh, yeah. Cora be damned. Uh, oh, no. Let's talk to this guy. Holdo. That's who we want to talk to. Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Was a Rania, dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office. A debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So numb I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. Nice, nice. So she's a, a kind liar. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a coffee guy here. Let's talk to this guy. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? Uh, we could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Bowling. <laughs> Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. Nice, nice. Shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and avo? From the new hipster place uptown. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. All right. So, coffee guy wants to get it on with uh, with our driver, huh? Let's see what here. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Uh, she wanted a coffee. That's good. Done. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, what are you? Ah. Oh. Hey, Camus. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. And go I to you sleep. go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. 
Sleep. Sure. Custom personality camis offline. Generic automata reinstated. Nice. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Korra now. Three distinct data points of origin for Korra. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. Okay. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool it's called Kind of like Internet. God knows. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. <laughs> Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Oh, okay. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Hmm. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, <laughs> computer-operated recycling agent. Oh. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Interesting. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey, Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's yes. not really... It's a good coffee. No, I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. It really is a good coffee. It truly is a coffee. All right, so we'll talk to this person here. Excuse me, I see you sell <clears throat> old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I oh, thought maybe it was music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. We needed an interface to make the joystick work, Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, we had to play on the rubber keys. The Even the words keys. I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope. Still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads, or something like that. Nice. No one knows exactly how it operated now. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. 
and the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict mm. memory constraints. Horrible. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. <laughs> we believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like mm. Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. Oh so boy. the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment. But the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. <laughs> Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we can punch people together in the streets. Oh, that's great. Alright, Control. Now what? Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? <laughs> I was on a break. <clears throat> there are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No. Why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombs? <laughs> Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Horrible. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. Okay. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Radia. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. <laughs> if they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. That's a heck of a control. Wow, awesome. Alright, so uh, I guess uh, we got this lady over here that we bring back videotapes to now. Um, then we got uh, suspicious item to corpse I don't know if I'm going to deliver that right away. That might be used for something else. I'm not quite sure. And then uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Give the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.